Did you know that your body might be giving you signs of possible liver cirrhosis? Welcome to Camin Medicine. Liver cirrhosis is a late stage of scarring or fibrosis of the liver caused by many forms of liver diseases and conditions, such as hepatitis and chronic alcoholism. The liver carries out essential tasks, including detoxifying harmful substances in your body, cleaning your blood, and making vital nutrients. Now, here's the catch. Many people with early stage cirrhosis have no symptoms. It's a silent disease that could be progressing without any noticeable signs. But as the cirrhosis progresses, the liver loses more of its ability to function, and that's when the symptoms start to show. Symptoms can range from easy bruising and bleeding, itchy skin, to more severe signs such as jaundice and cognitive issues. We'll be exploring these signs in detail, so you can be more informed about this condition. Let's dive into the 10 signs your body might give you if you have liver cirrhosis. Sign number one, easy bruising and bleeding. When your liver is healthy, it produces proteins necessary for blood clotting. However, when cirrhosis is in play, the liver's ability to generate these proteins is compromised. This can lead to the blood not clotting as quickly as it should. As a result, even a minor bump can cause substantial bruising, while small cuts may bleed more than usual. This is your body subtly waving a red flag, hinting that your liver might be struggling. It's not an everyday occurrence to bruise easily or bleed excessively from a minor cut, so if you're noticing these signs, it's crucial to pay attention. Now on to the second sign, itchy skin. As liver function declines, bile may build up in the bloodstream, leading to a persistent itch that no amount of scratching seems to relieve. Interestingly, this itchiness often starts with the palms and soles and then spreads to other parts of the body. It's another subtle hint that your liver might need some attention. Moving on to sign number four, jaundice. This is a condition that causes your skin and the whites of your eyes to turn yellow. It's the result of a chemical called bilirubin building up in your body, something your liver, when functioning correctly, would typically filter out. But in the case of liver cirrhosis, the liver's ability to process and eliminate this substance is compromised, leading to a yellowing effect on the skin and eyes. Next up, let's talk about sign number five, clubbing of fingers. This might sound a bit strange, but it's a real phenomenon. Clubbing refers to a change in the shape of your fingers and nails. They might appear wider and rounder than usual, almost as if they're bulging out. This happens because of low oxygen levels in your blood, a consequence of your liver not effectively removing toxins from your body as it should. Now, on to sign number six, reddening of the palms. This condition, also known as palmar erythema, is characterized by an unusual redness on the palms of your hands. It's thought to be caused by changes in hormone levels that occur when the liver isn't functioning properly. Specifically, an increase in estrogen levels can lead to blood vessels in the hands dilating, which in turn causes this noticeable redness. In sum, jaundice, clubbing of fingers, and reddening of the palms are all signs that your liver might be struggling. They're your body's way of telling you that something isn't quite right. It's vital to pay attention to these signs, as early detection could make all the difference when it comes to treating liver cirrhosis. Now let's discuss some of the more severe signs of liver cirrhosis. Sign number seven, confusion or cognitive issues. When the liver struggles to effectively remove toxins from the blood, it can lead to a condition known as hepatic encephalopathy. This condition can affect your brain function, leading to confusion, forgetfulness, and concentration problems. You might find yourself struggling with tasks that were once second nature to you, or you may feel disoriented and forgetful. It's a subtle sign, but one that should not be overlooked. Moving on to sign number eight, spider angiomas. These are small spider-like blood vessels that can appear on the skin when there's significant liver damage. They're named for their distinct appearance, a red spot in the center with blood vessels radiating outward like the legs of a spider. If you notice these on your skin, it might be a sign that your liver is struggling. Sign number nine takes us to a more apparent symptom, dark urine. Normally, your liver helps to break down old or damaged red blood cells in the body. When it's not functioning properly, these broken down cells can build up and turn your urine a darker color. So if you notice that your urine is consistently darker, even when you're drinking plenty of water, it could be a sign of liver cirrhosis. Coming up, we will discuss briefly how liver cirrhosis is diagnosed, but before that let's look at our last sign, sign number 10, is swelling or edema. Cirrhosis can cause fluid to build up in the abdomen, a condition known as ascites. This can lead to swelling in the legs and ankles, 
and in severe cases it can cause discomfort and shortness of breath. It's a clear sign that your liver is struggling and needs medical attention. These are signs that your body might give you if you have liver cirrhosis. Remember, these symptoms can also be common in other conditions, so it's important not to jump to conclusions. If you're experiencing any of these signs, it's critical that you consult with a healthcare professional. They can run the necessary tests and provide the right treatment options based on your specific situation. Remember, this video is for educational purposes. Liver cirrhosis is typically diagnosed through a series of tests, which may include blood tests, imaging tests, and even a liver biopsy. The process is thorough as it's critical to ascertain the extent of liver damage. Your healthcare provider will then guide you through the appropriate treatment plan based on your specific condition. Remember, self-diagnosis can lead to unnecessary panic or worse, complacency. If you found this video helpful, consider subscribing to the channel for more. I've noticed that our comment section has not been as active as I hoped, and I would love to change that. This channel is not just about me sharing health tips, it's about all of us supporting each other. Your insights might be just the inspiration someone else needs, so let's turn the comment section into a community of wellness wisdom. Drop your thoughts, experiences, or let us know if you learned anything from this video. Thanks for the support, take care until next video.